We got big updates happening with Baltimore Ravens roster. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, we know yesterday the Baltimore Ravens had to go from 90 men to 53 men on the roster. They had to do it by 4 p.m. And while they did do it by 4 p.m., we ain't get the news till like four and a half hours later. But it is what it is, and it's done now. So, we saw the initial 53-man roster. But what happened to a lot of those players that got cut? Did they bring any back, or did they sign with other teams? Well, let's take a look right now. Courtesy of Jeff Zrebic, he gave us the updated practice squad list guys who Baltimore Ravens signed to their practice squad who they can call up on game day at least three times before you have to either add them to the active roster or release them so they can clear waivers and then they're free to sign with any other team and then at that point if they do clear waivers and they don't sign anywhere else you can sign them back to the practice squad the rules are tricky but don't worry we will be going over them throughout the season because it's going to happen anyway the practice squad is quarterback Devin Leary he is officially back. I know a lot of Ravens fans do not like that. A lot of Ravens fans are upset about that. A lot of Ravens fans have not been feeling it since he was selected in the draft by the Baltimore Ravens. But I get it. I, we remember how he played. It didn't look so good, even though, again, there were low expectations for Devin Leary. But still, I know a lot of Ravens fans are like, what are we doing? Why is Emory Jones not in his place? The Baltimore Ravens, they drafted Devin Leary. And you got to know that with him being T. Martin's guy, it was T. Martin's selection. He was the one that recommended Devin Leary. So the Baltimore Ravens got an extra connection with him. So even though it was rough for him in the preseason, even though and we, we all saw it, you had to know that he wasn't going anywhere. Now, we knew he wasn't going to make the initial 53-man roster once that rule came out. That if it's a, Q a QB3, then you got to carry them on the active roster. We knew Ravens weren't going to use a roster spot on him at that point, but he had to figure that he was going to come back to the practice squad, whether we agreed with it or we didn't agree with it. But anyway, Devin Leary is back officially. Uh, running backs, veteran John Kelly. He is on the practice squad and also Chris Collier. Uh, and one, one of those two, they could get some early action depending on the health status of Rasheem Ali. So we'll see what goes down with that. Wide receivers. Now, this was a nice nice one right here because they not only got back Malik Cunningham, but they got our guy Dayton Wade. So he is on the Baltimore Ravens practice squad. So that is a beautiful thing. We're glad that he's back. And I'm just hoping that he gets an opportunity. And then, like I said before, whether it's with the Baltimore Ravens, great. Or if it ends up being with somebody else, great. I just want to see him shine. You know how every single year we fall in love with somebody. Whether it's an undrafted rookie, free agent, a late round selection, we fall in love with somebody during a preseason process. And it's like, oh, we just, we just want to see them shine. Sometimes it works out for them in the long run. Other times it doesn't. We'll see exactly what Dayton Wade's story is. Uh, but it's nice that the Baltimore Ravens, they did get him back. Now, real quick, uh, with practice squad rules, the way that it works, when a player's on the practice squad, any team can sign that player off of Baltimore Ravens practice squad or any other practice squad. But... If a team decides to sign a player off of another team's practice squad, they have to add them to the active roster. You cannot sign a practice squad player to your practice squad. Like, say, for instance, if the Steelers wanted to sign a player off the Ravens practice squad, Steelers have to put him on the active roster. They can't sign a player to their practice squad from Ravens practice squad. Just wanted to put that out there so we can all have a clear understanding. Moving forward, though, tight ends, Kadir Ishmael. It was said that the Baltimore Ravens, they wanted to – Keep him as a tight end on a practice squad. They wanted to get him back, I mean, so they were successful in doing so. And we'll see what happens with him. He could be a sneaky project. We'll, we'll, we'll just see. We're going to temper expectations. Offensive line, Darian Dalcourt and Corey Bullock. So those two are on the practice squad as well. Uh, defensive lineman, this guy was meant to be a Baltimore Raven, C.J. Raven there. Like, your name got Raven in it, so you got no choice but to be on the squad. Outside linebacker, undrafted rookie free agent, Big Joe Evans. We see you, Big Joe, number 48. Uh, so he's on a practice squad, so that'll be some nice development for him. So he can still continue to work on his stuff. And, again, he wasn't drafted for whatever the reason may be. I'm not sure. But now he's in a good spot to work with Dr. Rush and be around David Ajabo, who I think – could end up being the best pass rush on this Baltimore Ravens squad. Another conversation though for another day. Uh, also, inside linebacker Josh Ross. He was signed to the practice squad. And then cornerback Kadar Holman. Uh, and again, this is of 5.55 p.m. on Wednesday. So if anything changes, then we'll update you when we update you. But that is what the Baltimore Ravens practice squad is for now. And they still have four spots available. Because again, the practice squad can hold up to 16 people. 16 people. Uh, 10 of them can be rookies, and the other six 
can be veterans. Ravens, y'all don't ever get tired of trolling me. Y'all y'all don't ever get tired of trying to like really troll me like y'all be doing, especially these past couple of days. Anyway, the time right now is 6.03. I literally just started editing the video for this. 6.03, Baltimore Ravens just put out, just a minute ago, they announced 15 of their practice squad spots. And the other additions were wide receivers Anthony Miller and Keith Kirkwood. So both of those two made it. So two more veterans and also undrafted free agent uh, Bump Cooper Jr. So they got 15 out of 16 spots occupied. I wonder where that last one is going to go. Now, speaking of veterans, we had a little mix up a couple of hours ago. Um, this was reported from Matt Schneidman. He said Matt LaFleur says that, and that's Green Bay Packers head coach. He says Christian Welch is signing with the Baltimore Ravens. So when I first saw that, I said, oh, okay, they getting that hard hitter back. And they saw when he picked off Devin Leary, so the Baltimore Ravens, they were all over that. They were like, oh, we want that old thing back. So they hit up Christian Welch and like, hey, come through, baby. But Jeff Zrevic said, this is news to the Ravens. I don't think this is in the cards at the moment, but things can always change. So basically, Jeff Zrebik's saying, what are these people talking about? We, we ain't heard nothing. And Jeff Zrebik basically letting it be known like, hey, I know the Ravens transactions. I know what they do, what they don't do. And I ain't seen nothing like this. So this ain't going down. But it did end up coming out a little bit later that Christian Welch is actually not signing with the Baltimore Ravens. So just I, I'm sure a lot of y'all may have seen that on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. But Christian Welch is not, as of right now, as of 5.57 p.m. on Wednesday, Christian Welch is not signing with the Baltimore Ravens. Speaking of getting that old thing back, Ian Rappaport reported this morning that the Baltimore Ravens are hosting veteran defensive lineman Lawrence Guy for a visit and a workout today, sources say. The longtime Patriots starter spent two seasons starting in Baltimore. Some potential help with the season looming. So could there be a reunion with Lawrence Guy, the defensive lineman? Lawrence Guy, um, to me, he actually got his most productive season sack-wise with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, he's been, he been playing for a long He's been playing since uh, 2012, I think. He's been in the league for, for a minute, man. So shout out to him for longevity. Shout out to him. Um, but anyway, with Lawrence Guy, he is sort of, I want to say like a Brent Urban, um, a little better, but like a Brent Urban. He's somebody, and that's no shot at Brent Urban because Brent Urban be doing his thing. But he's somebody that does a lot of dirty work um, that will clog up offensive linemen. Um, he's somebody like that that can help set the edge just like he's a big body on, on a defensive line. Um, but he's somebody that does a lot of dirty work, but doesn't get a lot of credit for it, if you know what I mean. And he's also the ultimate teammate, too. So if they were to add Lawrence Guy back, hey, great, cool. He was here before, knows a lot of the coaching staff, and he would be in familiar territory. So we'll see what happens with that. Now we have my favorite part of these videos where we feature questions from y'all. If you would ever like to be part of this, where you have your question featured in the video, you can send me an email. Team keep it clean at gmail.com or if you're a team keep it clean patron y'all get priority if you're a team keep it clean patron you can send your question directly on patreon if you'd like to become one you can go to patreon.com slash engraven viz and really any way you want to support the channel everything is down below in the description i really love y'all i appreciate y'all shout out to Keontae because Keontae became a team keep it clean patron like a little less than a week ago and he been letting them fly he been sending questions like every single day so shout out to Keontae he said Kadarius Tony Ooh, I remember when, <laughs> when the Chiefs first traded for Kadarius Tony a lot of Ravens fans are like really what why did he go there but now he got what two Super Bowls boy that boy <laughs> that boy got it man anyway Kadarius Tony that's who I want that's who we should grab I think you said it best being able to do two things but taking up one spot Coming out of the University of Florida, he was the ultimate gadget guy and reminded me of Tavon Austin, uh, minus a legendary highlight film. Oh, yeah, uh, legendary highlight film is right. That boy Tavon Austin is up there with, like, the Reggie Bushes and the Peter Ward. Anyway, um, he said he would be a great practice squad addition, and I'm almost certain that the Florida connection will make him comfortable here in Baltimore and could help him get, get it together. I see a lot of upside in him, whether it's at kick return, punt return, or at, third, at a third wide receiver option. I know, look... I know a lot of Ravens fans would not like that. I wouldn't mind. You explained it best. Two for one. He's a return man, and he's a wide receiver. Um, he's somebody, and, and then you also talked about the, the lack of commitment, the low level of commitment, excuse me, because you wouldn't have to use a roster spot on him. 
He'd be on the practice squad. And again, worst case scenario, oh man, it doesn't work out. Okay. Th thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. That's what the Baltimore Ravens can say to him. That's what he could say to the Baltimore Ravens. And they could go their separate ways. There is such a low risk with the way that you put that. Such a low risk. So I would be off. I would not mind it because I know I know exactly what you're talking about. At Florida, that, that boy, he was he was one of them guys, man. He was one of them guys. And you talk about shifty. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah. Kadarius Tony got it. So if he was to be signed with a practice squad for the Baltimore Ravens, I wouldn't be mad at it at all. We would just have to limit him on social media. He can't be interacting with fans on Twitter and stuff like that because it, it don't never end up good. When he start talking to people on Twitter, just, just take away his Twitter access and then the Baltimore Ravens, then they could sign up. I guess this is National Trolling Raven Day because we were literally finishing editing this video. We were done. That was a wrap. And then I got a notification. Ross T just decided to become a team keep it clean Patrons. Oh, I ain't mad at you, Ross. I appreciate you, Ross. And welcome to the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Thank you very, very much. If you got any questions that you want featured in the video, you just send them directly on Patreon. But no, man, I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> shout out, special shout out to our guy, Ross, for joining. And you know what? While we here, Jeff Zwiebeck just put out something interesting. He said of the 23 players the Ravens waived the release yesterday, they got 15 of them back. Uh, they only the only eight not re-signed: Emory Jones, Tashawn Manning, Julian Pearl, uh, Yandy Rigby, Pepe Williams, uh, Just to Powell, DeAndre Sonat, and Daryl Worley. So, out of everybody that the Baltimore Ravens cut, nobody else went anywhere else. I know he said that Tashawn Manning might go to Bengals practice squad. He said that earlier, but so far he hasn't. So, out of everybody that the the Baltimore Ravens got rid of. Nobody wanted them. No, nobody picked the guys up. I'm like, man, what, what's up, NFL? Y'all don't want our guys? What's up with that? But that, that's cool. That's cool. Because we'll keep them. We'll train them. We'll develop them. And we'll turn them all into stars.